Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the POCO X4 Pro 5G. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is uh, one-handed mode because uh, as you know the phone is very large and you cannot reach everything with one hand. But uh, if you have the navigation bar and if you swipe from the middle to the outside, you can have a mini screen and then it's much more comfortable to reach now everything with one thumb. And you can do the full actions here, you can play games and so on and so on. So, uh, but don't worry if this doesn't work uh, at you uh, right now because you have to enable it first. For that, just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point additional settings. And here we will need a one handed mode. And that one handed mode has to be marked blue here that it is enabled. And whenever you swipe uh, to the outside, or if you want to have it on the right side, Swipe to the to the arrow here on the navigation bar, and then you will have this mini screen. By the way, what's pretty pretty cool: the outside is dark here, and it saves uh, as well energy because the pixels will turn off and so on. Uh, pretty cool. And whenever you want to go back to the regular mode, just tap here on the outside. And if you want to have it for left-handed people, just swipe to the other side to the recent tabs here, and it's on the other side. Okay. And uh, there's a pretty awesome tool also uh, this is the next tool because you can have two desktops on one phone that means two spaces on one phone may one for your business stuff and one for your private stuff or one for your private stuff and one for your very private stuff okay let me show you how you can enable this so just scroll down right next to the camera scroll down right next to the camera then you have the control center here just go to the settings then and then we need to go to the point special features and here we will need the second space so go on turn on second space so then it's uh, taking a few seconds and then the phone is creating a second space by the way we will need a phone pin for that you know the one to unlock the screen with and so on no? i think you have that already so go and continue. In case you don't have it, you can create it here as well. Uh, the phone will guide you during this process. And uh, or a pattern, uh, a pattern or a pin code with numbers. So now we have to set a password for the second pin, uh, for the second space. I'm sorry. Yes. So um, first of all, we have to confirm our phone pin. So the first space pin. So in my case, it is a very simple one, four times the one. Go then on next, also enter yours, no? go then on next. And uh, then we have to create a pin code for the second space. No? I will take four times the nine, because it's easy. Take also yours there, go and continue. Now confirm the code. Press an OK, and now the phone is creating the second space. Uh, if you want, you can add also a, a fingerprint. Um, makes it faster later, but we skip that. Okay, now we are here at the second space. So let me go back in the main space that you can compare it a bit better. So, uh, so this is my main space, my regular space, no, where we have uh, where we did the stuff uh, with the one-handed mode and so on. Okay, now so we have also some apps here with WhatsApp and so on and so on. Okay, and also the gallery, now I have some content already. Okay, let me go back now to the second space. No, not four times the one, so it's four times the nine now. Okay, now I'm in the second space, a complete independent space. Here I have no pictures, no? I, I, it's completely independent. I have my own pictures here, same with the first space, it has its own pictures. Uh, I have my own browser history here as well. And uh, also the apps, no? I don't have these apps, uh, which one I have on the first space. Now I can have my own apps, no? I can create my own uh, uh, Google account here for the Play Store and so on. And it's completely independent. And also if I'm receiving a WhatsApp message and so on, it stays here on the second space, or on the first space, wherever WhatsApp is. No? Um, but you can have also a second WhatsApp account, by the way, here on the second space are uh, also other apps no? and you don't see on the first space that you have these kind of apps here at the second space and uh, the only thing what will appears on both spaces are the calls no? 
depending on just if you have it in your contact list or not. If uh, the space have it, have it not in your contact list, you will see only the number and also the same with text messages. Now you will see this text messages, uh, but uh, depends also here if you see the contact or only a number. Okay, I think uh, you realize already a very nice uh, tool here. Uh, let me go back here to the main space that we can continue in our program because uh, I want to show you also uh, that you can clone apps here with that phone. So that means that you can have uh, two Facebook accounts, but not in the same app. No, you have an own app for your second account. Same also with WhatsApp. So you can insert two SIM cards. Why not having uh, one WhatsApp for each number? That's possible, no? And let me show you how this works. So just scroll on here right next to the camera, go down here to the symbol for the settings. Then we need the point, apps. And here this point, dual apps. So first of all, we have to create it if we are using it for the very first time. And uh, then just go on the app you want to clone. Now you see I have many opportunities here. Just go on one app you want to clone, like WhatsApp here. Tap down here, confirm or turn on. And the phone is creating a second WhatsApp app. <laughs> Okay, and let me go back here to clone our Instagram. Well, that's pretty cool. Because not every phone is supporting uh, to clone Instagram. And you can clone also amazing other apps like uh, your Netflix. Now you can have two Netflix apps on your phone. Very useful if you have the account from some other people and they don't have to switch always within the uh, app the account, or you can have uh, two separate apps for. Uh, also TikTok, you, know, you can have two TikTok accounts. Uh, there's so many stuff to do, uh, um, so many opportunities. Let me show you a bit more now. Uh, so this is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one, as you can see, my main TikTok account, my second one. And as you see, the second app have always this orange mark here at the corner. Can you see that? So very useful. And by the way, if you want to have a third app, of TikTok or WhatsApp or whatever, you can use the second space as we have seen before because you have your own Play Store there. You can also install apps and that means then you can have three WhatsApp accounts uh, for whatever you will need it. And yeah, and the phone is very large as you know. This is our next step because you can split apps here on the screen. So if we go here on the recent tabs so on the square, then you have all your recently opened tabs and so on. And if you long press one of these tabs, you have the opportunity to split the screen with the one here in the middle. So and below you can choose maybe what you want to have. Now on the top we will have YouTube and below maybe I want to set up something at the settings. Oh no, I go want to go to the gallery. Okay, then below I will have the gallery and on the top I will have here YouTube. Can you see that? And if you want to have more space, you can just scroll a bit down and then you have um, the first app have a bit more space here and so on. Same thing also for the gallery. If I swipe it up a bit, I have more space here for the gallery. Um, if you want to close one of these apps, you can swipe down for having YouTube, also the, the one above here, or if you want to have the app below, just swipe up like this. And um, you have it on the full screen again. Okay, let's have a look on the camera. So I need my little friend here because uh, we have more than one camera. And let me show you how you can use them a bit. So um, let's open the camera here first. So this is our main cam. You're always in the middle. No? But uh, in some cases, may, uh, if you're very close to groups and so on, and not everyone is on the photo, so you can use an ultra wide cam here. This is the first point here. No? Going on the first point, huh? yeah, now. now I have the ultra wide cam and we have much more range now and more people are on the picture. But uh, the quality of the camera is of course not that good that uh, the main one, so the one in the middle. So for your pictures you can use always the one in the middle but just in case you can use the ultra wide cam. And uh, yeah, another nice tool here, the, the, the point on the right is to zoom in automatically. Now, of course, you can also pinch in and so on. Um, but this simple point gives you just uh, the two time zoom and the pictures are still crystal clear. And there's another cam. If you are very, very close to objects, just a few centimeters above like this one, and the camera cannot focus anymore. 
and uh, that's uh, not yeah, so good for the picture as you can see but if you go now on your three lines on the hamburger menu you have the opportunity to enable the macro cam and that means that the pictures then becomes crystal clear again of course the camera is also not that good than the main one but especially in some situations it is good to have these kind of cameras and you can also make pictures of the screen with the phone so screenshots for that we will need the power button and the volume down button for it. just press it simultaneously for a short time and then you have the preview or you can send it directly with whatsapp telegram and so on so one more time the power button and the volume down button just for short together and you're having a screenshot if you tap down here on the preview then you can uh, yeah if you want to draw something inside or to highlight something or here at the corners you can also crop a part of it like in my case now the google bar very useful by the way if you want to have a picture from a website or something like this huh? and then after you can share this uh, picture directly or save it here to the gallery yeah and there's a second way to take a screenshot with three fingers pretty cool feature by the way if you swipe down three fingers you have a screenshot as well one more time take three fingers swipe them just across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well and you can also make videos of your screen actions so very useful in games and so on for that we will need the screen recorder that's already built in just scroll down here right next to the camera to have the control center and the part of the control center is the icon for the screen recorder then you have a little tool here you can move the tool and so on if you tap down on the red button you will start your screen recording now, now it's taking um, a video with your actions here no? tap again here to stop the video this is the folder to see the previous uh, recordings uh, and here the third symbol are the settings because you can set up the resolution the video quality um, as you don't need the full quality if you uh, if you just make a tutorial video or something like this just if you make high-end games and you want to squeeze out the best of it then choose the highest video quality the highest resolution and also the highest frame rate but usually for tutorials you don't need it and uh, also the sound source is important here now if you want to have only the system sound or if you want to have as well the microphone and yeah if you're ready with uh, yeah with the screen recording just tap here on the x that the tool will disappear by the way all your screenshots and screencasts all the, uh, and so on are here at the gallery and as you can see here huh, what's pretty cool here at the albums you have an own folder just for your screenshots and your screen recordings and the next point i want to show you is a power saving mode in case your battery have still just a few percent or you know that you cannot charge your phone in the next days and so on and there's a way to enable a power saving mode um, for that we will need here the green icon below the one with the green flash in it it's for the security and a part of this app is the point here battery so awesome is we have some nice statistics here now, what takes the most energy yeah? and you can uh, may um, uh, delete some apps which one taking a lot of energy yeah and uh, what i want to show you is this one here now, because we have actually we have uh, 23 hours remaining if we still use our phone like we have used it and uh, almost 24 hours if i see the minutes here in case i cannot charge my phone right now and uh, i still have to go for a long time without charging then this point is very interesting here yeah, the ultra power, power the ultra power battery safer um, in case if you cannot charge your phone uh, the next time then this point is very important here yeah, ultra battery safer as you can see we have uh, 23 hours here and uh, 56 uh, minutes and here at ultra power saving mode we would have 76 hours and 30 minutes remaining now depending always on the stuff you want to do and so on so this is just estimated now and uh, if i enable this as it's more than three times huh? if i enable this feature here then uh, i go on okay and a return of many stuff uh, at the background now, this is also nice you can uh, choose if you want to have location or not uh, if you turn off location it you have also a bit uh, longer your battery um, 
uh, but in case you need uh, the GPS or something like this, uh, it's better to leave it on. So just tap it on and close. No? So in this, as you can see, it minimizes the apps. We have just a few apps available here, but you can add here if you tap on a plus symbol. Also some more apps like Chrome and so on, like uh, Maps, but it depends then on the location. No? Gmail and so on. So you have uh, much more rows here. And uh, yeah, but everything is minimized. Also the background activities are um, almost on zero. And the screen time mode is very fast. As you can see right now, so the screen is turning off. It saves energy. And also, uh, by the way, fun fact, um, we have an OLED screen here. And if the, uh, in the dark areas, the pixels just turn off and it saves a lot of energy, as you can see. Okay, and whenever you will have the chance to charge your phone now, you can leave, you can exit this uh, power saving mode. Just tap here on exit and you will back in your regular, uh, space uh, and uh, no data are lost or something like that, or something like this so you have all your data again and uh, this is a pretty nice mode and there's another nice feature to quick launch the camera by just double tapping the power button and you're immediately at the camera and what is also great also if the phone is on uh, standby you know? so uh, the phone is on standby and you just double tap the power button and you're immediately at the camera without unlocking the screen and so on. And that saves really time and may a great picture one day. But uh, you have to enable this feature. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to go to the point additional settings. And here we will need the point gesture shortcuts. So on this point is very important here, launch camera and the first point like in my case here should be marked blue um, then you have this very nice feature whenever you double press the power button you are immediately at the camera and hey as I said may this saves your great picture one day and then we are already at the end um, because uh, we have a pretty awesome tool here uh, a virtual assistant you know already the Google Assistant, um, but uh, Google have created also a system which one recognizes things on pictures and photos and so on. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So just go here on the camera and go here on the, here on the square with a white point in it. Um, for the very first time you have to allow some stuff here. And this is then intelligent system which one recognizes things. Let's try the battery here. Let's recognize the battery. And yes, it recognizes the battery. And what is very crazy, it recognizes also the brand. You know, the brand was here on the side, by the way, but it recognizes the brand. And uh, let's uh, try also a coin. I have uh, two euros here. Grand two euros. And it's checking the internet. And yes, it recognizes my two euros here okay here's one here's another coin but uh, it is not that bad and it's very useful this tool because you can hold your phone on a building and the phone will more tell you more about the building or also hold your phone on a flower and the phone will tell you which flower it is and so on so these uh, features you have no? but you need internet i have to tell you for that and uh, there's so much more stuff this is the reason why the book is here so if you go here on text if you go here on text below, then you have uh, the opportunity that the phone is scanning the text. And if you tap now here on this symbol, uh, the, the complete text is selected. Amazing for uh, studies and so on. And if you're very lazy, you can go on listen. Sonntags im Sommer spazierte die and the phone will read this uh, text. Uh, very amazing. Um, very, very amazing. And you can do more with that. I have a German book here, uh, may you have realized it already. Uh, so if you go here now on translate, and I hold my phone like this on the text, it auto detects the language. That's also pretty amazing. And it gives us in live the translation. And if I tap here, I have copied the text. I can also uh, listen to the text on Sundays in the summer um, and I can also select it and uh, use it for something else and so on that's really awesome for your studies uh, awesome also for your holidays if you're in a restaurant uh, and you can live translate um, the card there and so on uh, so pretty pretty amazing and uh, also time 
I've prepared already something because I want to tell you something. If I go here on search and scan the QR code, it's time also to say thanks for watching phones and more. Yeah, thank you so, so much that you have watched this video. I hope um, I could uh, give you some new tips and tricks here for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a something up that will be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, or maybe just subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe at the next time. <laughs> Ciao.